Hi everyone, Celeste here and I'm with Renee Nelson. She's our newest member of our Fox 10 AZAM family and we're going to get to know her today. Let's go chat. All right. So tell me where you're from and kind of your background. Okay, so originally from the Northwest, Portland mm -hmm. to be exact. Grew up there and then uh, moved over to San Diego for work and most recently from San Diego and made the move to Arizona. Your mom. I am. Yeah, an accomplished I'm, mom. Oh, thank you. Homeschooler. Uh, that, I don't know <laughs> if that means I'm accomplished or maybe I have failed. I don't know. Kudos to you. That is uh, a big deal. It requires a lot of patience and apparently it requires um, skills that my own children don't think I possess. Uh -huh. So that lasted about a year. So you have four children. Four kids. Uh huh. Yeah, and they're they're they run the gamut of ages. Yeah. And everything, but definitely. You a baker? <laughs> um, I think I'm a baker. You're good with fondant. You told me. I'm good with fondant. <laughs> yeah, and I bake a mean chocolate chip cookie. I really, really do. Okay. But nuts, no nuts. That, no nuts. No nuts. Yeah. No, mm -hmm. but lots of chocolate chips. Yeah, extra. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Your kids with advice. Yeah, they've given me a lot of advice before I got here. Um, four kids, so all sorts of different advice. Uh, you know, they range, the age range is, is pretty vast. My oldest said that um, I don't have to say everything that I think. What's that mean? Like, be willing to hold back. <laughs> what? I know. That's no fun. That's my daughter, too. <laughs> and I think it's a signal of what she thinks of me, mostly. Mm. You know, like, don't say everything, especially to her. My youngest had the best advice. He said, please... Do not tell anyone that you rap mm -hmm. because A, you don't, and uh, B, you sometimes think you do and you're terrible. Right, now, okay. who are we talking? What type of? So I do listen to like old school rap, like yeah, 50 okay. Cent. Oh yeah, 50. Yeah, yeah 50. Yeah, 50 Cent. Mm -hmm. And then, um, you know, anything new I like, but yeah. you know, you have to avoid the bad words when you've got four right. kids in the back yeah. of your car. Have I've you learned, been Googling us? I've learned all sorts <laughs> of things, mostly songs. Oh, like, okay. <gasps> Oh, A Z A M. Four thirty to ten. I can't do the dance. <laughs> I wish you'd just do like the Macarena with it because well, everybody knows that. If right? you did know it, it would be amazing because it took us like two months to learn That's it. That's what I heard. <laughs> so I know that. Um, of course, my family loves Corey. Oh yeah, who does? They love him, and they've watched his weather, uh, you know, piece on YouTube a million times. So my husband every now and then will walk around going. Not your dad. Not really. <laughs> they're more excited about him than me. I mean, clearly. They don't they could care less about me, but they're pretty excited that I get to work with the Corey. And uh, of course, watching Ron and you guys mm -hmm. in the morning, you're so much fun. And, you know, when I came over here, that was the one thing that was really important to me is I wanted a morning show format that um, resonated with me as a mom. Mm -hmm. Because I've been on the other side, you know, at home with all my kids and watching morning shows, these were my friends, yeah. you know, this was my adult contact. And so I really wanted a station. If I ever went back into news again, I wanted someone that understood that dynamic. And I felt like Fox was the one that really gets it. They understand how to talk to, you know, the people that, that I was, you know, you could feel like the other person at the table and so that's that's that part's fun and I think it helps that we all have families right yeah. we understand like the family work-life balance yeah and um, we try to share that with viewers at home because we know exactly what everyone's going through because yeah. we're the same yeah right? we're like everyone else yeah absolutely mm -hmm. kid problems yeah <laughs> or are those that mom props yeah <laughs> mom <laughs> props like hashtag mom props <laughs> <laughs> Okay, if you could have dinner with one person dead or alive, who would it be? I'm gonna give you the most boring answer of all time. Okay, and then tell us why. It's definitely my husband. Oh, seriously, that's sweet. because having four kids, it's so hard to just get an ounce of time mm -hmm. to yourselves and not have anything else going on. Mm -hmm. And he is my very best friend. Yeah. So um, I would definitely take the time and have dinner with my husband. Let's say you win the lottery. Mm -hmm. What do you spend it on? Okay, I have pose this question to myself a million times. Okay. And there's differing opinions in my family. Mm -hmm. I would definitely build an empire. Ooh. That would be the start. Like, what do you mean an empire? I don't know. Music empire, <laughs> land empire. What is some kind of empire? Everything. The show, the I Fox could show invest empire? in everything. <laughs> I mean, how big is the lottery? I, I don't want to be that person that's like, it's $100,000. I'm going to buy a house. I'm going to yeah. buy a car, <laughs> you know, a plane. So no, not like that. But if it was big enough, I would, I would definitely do something. Yeah. 
well, I got to do something good with it too. <laughs> yeah, you got to help others. Right. Three right. people will get help. <laughs> so who would play you in a movie about your life? Okay, this has nothing to do with how they would portray my life, but this person I have been compared to a million times, and I'm dying to see your your reaction. Okay. Because it's been for years that people have said, you know, you look like so-and-so. You know, you look, and I don't get it. I really don't. Okay. Ashley Judd. Oh, really? Yeah, you do. What? Where? Yes. Where? <gasps> right here. <laughs> <laughs> you okay, so you have a favorite song of all time? Yeah. Okay, go for it. Um, Hotel California. Nice. Who's That's... that? Snoop Dogg? No. <laughs> <laughs> he did a version, I'm sure. Yeah, That'd I think so. so. Good. <laughs> no, I love that song. Is it the Eagles? Yes. Yeah, the Eagles. You know when I don't like it is when anyone else sings it. Where is your happy place? Where? Okay. Right here with y'all. Oh, right, right here? <laughs> if not here, I'd probably be in bed, especially mm. waking up at 2 a.m. In your jammies. Mm -hmm. I have some rapid fire questions for you. Okay. Okay, cats or dogs? Dogs. Pancakes or waffles? Waffles. Facebook or Twitter? I think Twitter. Okay, baseball or football? football? Football, definitely. What's baseball? Beer, wine. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about your husband. He's a good guy. <laughs> He's a good guy. People have a lot of expectations about who he is just because he's a big guy. They think maybe he knows something about sports. They always try and bond with him that way. The man knows nothing about sports. I hope he doesn't hear this. So uh, tell me, what are you looking forward to now that you're, you're a part of the Fox 5 now? Yeah. <laughs> well, I love the experience that obviously we tell the news and I'm a news junkie. I, I mean, I just love information and following the news, but I think it can be done in such a great way, just like you guys do it. I'm excited to be a part of that team and just be able to have that relaxed, kind of fun, wake up with your friends in the morning atmosphere. And even the few days that I've been there, that's what it is, you mm -hmm. know? And I'm so thrilled to be a part of that team because it's nice to be able to, you know, get the information, but share everyone's mornings with them. So I'm really excited about doing oh, that. Oh, we're happy to have you. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, looking forward to it.